Check it out. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be benchmarking the Google Pixel 4a against five other mid-range budget smartphones. So let's go ahead, let's jump right into it. So you can see I got six phones on the table right here. All of them have their Intuitu benchmark results pulled up. We have them in order from best score to lowest score right here. The winner, no shock here, the iPhone SE 2020. It's just a top of the line phone and a really poor design if you ask me, but everything internally is super strong and powerful. It just leads the way in all of the test results. Then in second place, we have the Pixel 4a. Third place, we have the TCL 10 Pro. Fourth place, we have the Samsung Galaxy A51. Fifth place, we have the Google Pixel 3a. And in sixth place, last but not least, we have the Hot Pepper Ghost Visible Edition. I just wanted to make this video because I saw all these phones out in my studio and thought it'd be fun to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison with some real world benchmark results right here. So again, iPhone SE 2020 wins first place with a score of 4850 it dominates every category, CPU, GPU, memory, and UX. Second place, Pixel with a score of 2615.83. It has decent results, I'd say, for the competitive price that it's released at. And if you notice, the three A's right below it, we have a pretty big jump in score from 1723.72 to 2615.83. So pretty nice bump up, which is expected with the next generation of the device. So, want to point out too, across the board, they are in order for CPU scores until we get to fourth and fifth place. The Pixel 3 actually has a better CPU score than the Samsung Galaxy A51, so keep that in mind. Pretty interesting there. But unfortunately for the Hot Pepper Ghost Visible Edition, it's going to lose every category consistently across the board. Then for GPU, you can see the results right here too. So they are in order for the top three phones. So it's not even close with the GPU compared to first, second, and third place. Look at those scores. So we got 1896.42, which is huge compared to just 70.84.5. And then you can even see for third place, we only have a score of 35.92.0. So this actually loses out the TCL 10 Pro to the A51. So this actually has a better GPU score. In fact, this would actually move down to fifth place compared to the Google Pixel 3a for GPU as well and just beat out the Hot Pepper Ghost phone. Then we can look at memory. Again, iPhone takes the cake for all these categories. Then it comes down to the Pixel 4a with memory. So everything looks good right there. Yep, everything's in order. They're very close together in memory with a score of 30.23.6 and 31.06. Six. So keep that in mind. There's give and takes and compromises between all the devices, but iPhone SE 2020 really is the winner across the board. Then we can look at UX right here. This is very close for all five of these devices that are running Android, which is nice. Whether it's Android 9, Android 10, Android 11, we have some of those options right there for the UX. So you can see our Pixel 4a actually has a lower score than the TCL 10 Pro. And it does have a higher score though than the A51. So these are neck and neck. The Pixel 3 actually beats out the A51 for that fourth place slot if we're just going by UX right there. And then unfortunately the Hot Pepper Ghost still comes in last, like I said. So pretty obvious winner, pretty obvious loser. Then the Pixel 4a kind of holds down the fort in between both of those devices. And it's at a very competitive price point. It's close to the iPhone SE 2020 in price, but they are different because this is about 50 bucks less and comes with the same storage as it would cost the $100 more version of the iPhone SE 2020. You'd be looking around 450 to get this with 128 gigabytes, which is what this comes with straight out of the box at their current $350 price point right there. So this is just a quick overview showing you the benchmark results of the Pixel 4a compared to five other budget devices. We have the iPhone SE 2020. We have the TCL 10 Pro. We have the Samsung Galaxy A51, the Google Pixel 3a, and the Hot Pepper Ghost Visible 
edition. All these products will be linked below if you're interested. I've also reviewed them previously on my channel, so be sure to go ahead and check out some of those videos. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. TikTok, Discord, you can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.